Okay, so I just wanted to make a video today on how to achieve these nails. Yeah, no one in my area that I know of does like hollow. Last time I asked for hollow, I got chrome. I'm not like a professional, you know, doing this or anything like that. I'm just gonna do it myself. And if you'd like to see how I get these, then just keep watching. Um. Mine came out a little ratchet. You might see that at the end, but it's okay. So you're obviously gonna need nails, and in this case, mine are like a month overdue, as you can see. Okay, I'm using a nail file that's like 800 grit. You're just gonna pretty much file down your nails. Now, you can remove your gel polish like a 100 different ways, but I just chose a hard way. You could take like nail polish remover or something. Or it would be easier if you had one of those electric nail files. I'm pretty sure that would be way faster. One step I forgot to mention is to please buff your nails or file them down with like a lighter grit because I didn't do that. And at the end I had like extra little flaky pieces of nail and it looked ugly. So just giving y'all a heads up after you're done, you're gonna take some acetone and pretty much just getting off all the extra oils that's left on your nails. So just taking an orange stick and pushing back my cuticles. You don't have to do this, but. So now I'm using this four piece set that I got on Amazon, Clavis, Clavis, I'm not sure what it's called. So now taking the base coat, I'm just painting an even layer on all of my nails. Nothing special. And then just follow the directions on the bottle and cure it. Now taking the black. Now this is optional for hollow nails. Okay, so black reflects the light better. That's why I'm gonna use this. You could use any color of nail polish. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Whatever floats your boat. Just painting an even layer. Don't forget to cap the free edge. And by that, I mean just paint like the tip of your nail so that the end is not showing. And please get off any excess that you have or if you've messed up because once you cure it, it's hard to get off from experience. Like this is literally my first time doing this. So I pretty much learned as I went along and now I'm telling you in the voiceover what to do and what not to do. I'm just painting a top coat, sorry for the out of focus camera. And after that, you just want to cure it until it's tacky so that your hollow will stick. Now this glitter is a lot, um, how would I say it, like thicker, not thicker, but um, it's not as thin as the glitter I had on my nails before, but as you can see it works, I like it. And this glitter I got off of Wish for like a dollar. So. Like as you can see on the, like looking at it, the left side of my nail, like that little part, the hollow's not sticking because I didn't put top coat right there. So whenever you paint your top coat on, you'll put it at the ends of your nail near your cuticle and at the tips on the free edge to make sure that, you know, the hollow covers everything. Cause if not, then you're gonna have black patches like I do. So after that, I just went and buffed in. Like whenever you do the, your hollow, I would recommend probably like getting enough on the sponge, you know I mean? A little does go a long way, but you don't want to get too little. It's obviously not going to go on there, duh, because you don't have enough. But yeah, just don't get too much because if you're going to end up like me and have glitter everywhere.
So now I just take your top coat, paint for that. I'm sorry, my camera went out of focus again. And so there is the finished. I'm gonna do my other hand. And I'm not showing my other hand because I'm left handed and my left hand looks like crap. <laughs> so I'm just showing you my right hand. So yeah, as you can see with the light, it reflects it a lot better. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay, so I hope you like this tutorial and if you'd like to see like me do something else or try something else, I don't know, you probably know, then just let me know. <laughs>